children in Peru work in informal and small-scale mining, particularly for gold, sometimes in situations of forced labor, and are exposed to hazards, including wall and mine collapses, landslides, explosives accidents, and exposure to mercury and harmful gases. Near mining areas, children are also subjected to commercial sexual exploitation, sometimes as a result of human trafficking. Remnants of Sendero Luminoso terrorist group continue to use children in combat, domestic servitude, and drug trafficking. Forced labor and support of narco-trafficking can include using hazardous chemicals to process coca or working as a drug courier. Victims were promised jobs upon arrival to Lima, only to be forced into prostitution to pay off a debt. Indigenous and Afro-Peruvian children and children from rural communities experience lower school enrollment and completion rates. With indigenous children especially vulnerable to dropping out of school and engaging in hazardous work in agriculture. This lady made a dress from Cortez uh, for her because she didn't have, she was just wearing, as we call in Spanish, arapos. polleras and hojotas and for her this was just a lack a lack of everything they, she felt objected she felt also in a position where people could take advantage of her and the racism she lived since she was very little all of these entitlement about family and about legacy she was not legacy for him clearly